Elon Musk has officially confirmed the Tesla Bot Gen 3, set to launch in early 2026, with Gen 4 and Gen 5 already in development. He revealed that future versions could reach up to 100 million units, featuring movements and appearance nearly indistinguishable from humans, even capable of performing surgical tasks. This isn't a concept anymore. It's Tesla's next real frontier in automation. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk spoke at Tesla's Q3 2025 earnings call, everyone expected updates about cars, batteries, or profits. But within minutes, it became clear. This wasn't just another investor briefing. It was a turning point in technology. Musk didn't talk about Model 2 or Cybertruck for long. Instead, he shifted the spotlight to something far more ambitious. The Tesla Optimus Project a humanoid robot that, according to him, will soon work, think, and even look like us. He confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 will launch in early 2026, with Gen 4 and Gen 5 already under development. Production targets? Up to 100 million units. That number isn't just aggressive, it's history-breaking. But what gives Elon Musk the confidence to claim that? And more importantly, what's really happening inside Tesla's secret robotics labs that no one else dares to attempt? Three years ago, Optimus was little more than a tech demo, a man in a suit at Tesla's AI Day. Many laughed it off. But behind the scenes, Tesla engineers rebuilt everything from scratch. Musk later admitted that Optimus Gen 2 was almost impossible to manufacture. It was too complex, too expensive, and too fragile. With Generation 3, the game changes completely. The team redesigned the robot using the same manufacturing logic that made Tesla cars scalable, simplify, integrate, and mass produce. Gen 3 now uses modular joints, lightweight carbon fiber components, and actuators fully designed in-house. The same technology derived from Tesla's electric motors, refined for precision human-like motion. Each actuator functions like a human muscle, powerful yet controlled. That's why Optimus can now lift a dumbbell, pick up a cup, and even hold a microphone smoothly. Actions that once required complex motion programming. And this time, it's not just movement that's changing, it's touch. Elon Musk has said it plainly. The hardest part of Optimus isn't the brain, it's the hand. The Gen 3 hand could account for more than half the robot's cost, and for good reason. Creating a machine capable of the precision of human fingers is one of the most difficult engineering challenges on Earth. This version integrates 22 degrees of freedom with a tendon system similar to human anatomy where tiny actuators pull and flex muscles inside the forearm to move each finger independently. That means Optimus can now handle a tomato, an egg, or a fragile glass without crushing it, while still being strong enough to lift heavy tools. Tesla engineers combined this hardware with pressure sensors, temperature feedback, and adaptive grip AI, giving the robot awareness of force and texture. For decades, robotics companies built machines that could walk or jump, but couldn't fold laundry. Tesla just flipped that rule. And behind this precision lies the true breakthrough, how Optimus learns. Inside Tesla's lab in Palo Alto, dozens of Optimus units train every day for up to 16 hours, not through code, but through observation. The system behind it called Sim to Real Learning, lets Optimus watch a human perform a task, recreate it virtually thousands of times, and perfect it through trial and error, the same way humans learn by repetition. When engineers make a sandwich, Optimus watches. Then it simulates the process millions of times, correcting mistakes until it gets it right. 
slice by slice, movement by movement. The result? A robot that doesn't just repeat actions, it understands purpose. That's why the latest version can cook, clean, serve food at Tesla's diner, and even hand over a microphone to Musk on stage without a pre-written script. But even the smartest A, I means nothing without manufacturing scale. And this is where Tesla's strategy becomes unstoppable. Building humanoid robots isn't just hard, it's logistically impossible for most companies. There's no existing supply chain for parts like robotic joints, synthetic tendons, or advanced tactile sensors. Most robotic startups buy components from dozens of suppliers. Tesla doesn't. Tesla builds nearly everything in-house, from actuators and AI chips to the wiring and internal power systems. It's the same vertical integration model that disrupted the auto industry, now applied to robotics. This gives Tesla a massive advantage. Lower cost per unit, faster iteration cycles, and complete control over quality. When Elon Musk says they can scale to a million Optimus units per year, it's not a fantasy. It's a reflection of Tesla's proven manufacturing culture. That's why, despite the hype around competitors like Figure AI and Unitry, none of them can match Tesla's pace. Figure AI's new Figure 03 robot is sleek, quiet, and efficient capable of doing dishes, folding clothes, and even walking on stage with human-like grace. Unitree's H2 robot moves with agility and performs martial arts demonstrations that go viral online. But here's the key difference. Both are limited by what they've been taught. They rely on pre-programmed motions. Tesla's Optimus, by contrast, learns dynamically through neural networks powered by Dojo. Tesla's supercomputer. Every Tesla vehicle on the road provides billions of visual training frames for this system. In simple terms, the same AI that helps cars understand the world is now teaching robots how to live in it. That's an advantage no competitor can replicate. Musk's claim that Optimus could one day become an incredible surgeon sounds extreme, but the logic is clear. If Optimus can maintain human-like dexterity, real-time precision, and work non-stop, its applications go far beyond homes and factories. Imagine robots performing repetitive or fatigue-prone procedures with perfect steadiness, something humans physically can't sustain. Mathematically, Musk's claim of five times human productivity checks out. Humans work approximately 2,000 hours per year. A robot tethered to power can operate approximately 8,700 hours continuously. Even with downtime for maintenance, the difference in uptime alone creates exponential efficiency. But it's not just about performance. It's about impact. For Musk, Optimus isn't a gadget. It's Tesla's next pillar of revenue and possibly the foundation for an entirely new kind of economy. By automating repetitive labor, Tesla can redirect human effort toward creativity and management, while its robots handle manufacturing, logistics, and domestic work. If successful, Tesla could lower the cost of goods, accelerate innovation, and, in Musk's own words, lead humanity toward a world of sustainable abundance. But this vision also carries a silent warning. What happens to the millions of jobs replaced in the process? This is where public opinion begins to split. Some see Optimus as liberation from labor. Others see it as the end of human employment as we know it. Either way, the conversation has already started. Originally, insiders expected Optimus Gen 3 to debut in November 2025 but Musk quietly postponed it to Q1 2026, admitting that the hands alone have taken more time than the rest of the robot combined. The delay, however, might be strategic. By slowing down now, Tesla gains time to refine manufacturing methods, secure patents, and perfect its safety systems. 
So when Optimus Gen 3 finally steps onto the stage, it won't be another flashy prototype. It'll be a fully functional humanoid robot ready for limited production. And that's when the real disruption begins. If Musk's predictions hold true, with millions of these robots entering homes, hospitals, and factories, society is heading toward a profound transformation. Automation at this scale will reshape how we define value, labor, and even identity. The question isn't just, can robots do it? It's, should they? Tesla says Optimus will be completely safe, but safety is only part of the issue. Dependence, displacement, and control are far more complex problems. When machines can replace human labor at scale, who decides what humans do next? Musk's answer is optimistic. A world where everyone has access to abundance. But critics argue it could lead to economic imbalance if wealth and control remain concentrated in a few hands. That's why this isn't just a story about technology. It's a story about power, ethics, and the future of civilization. For now, Optimus Gen 3 remains in testing. But make no mistake, it's coming. And when it does, it could redefine the meaning of work itself. From cleaning kitchens to performing surgeries, from building cars to building more robots, Tesla's humanoid line might become the single most disruptive technology of the 21st century. The only question left is, will humanity adapt as fast as the machines we've created? The countdown has already started. And here's the real point. Optimus isn't just another Tesla product. It's a turning point in human history. Elon Musk isn't trying to replace people. He's trying to free them. This is exactly why Optimus matters. It's the foundation for a future where humans focus on creativity, discovery, and exploration, while machines handle the rest. From factory floors to future Mars missions, this technology could reshape how civilization grows. Faster, safer, and smarter. And Genesis 3 is just the beginning. So, what do you think? Will these robots become our greatest tools or our greatest challenge? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your perspective. If you found this breakdown valuable, like this video, subscribe to Tech Revolution and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next deep dive into the technologies shaping our future. This is Tech Revolution, where we decode the breakthroughs that will define the next decade. The future isn't coming someday. It's happening right now.